Hey yeah, guys, not the average gamers here today. We're talking about cloud gaming, and I have a list. Yes, it is written on a paper plate because I'm retarded. So, anyways, let's get started. So, basically, this thing has kind of come about that is cloud gaming. And what cloud gaming is, is you run a game off a server. So, let's say, oh, I want to sit down in my living room and I want to play a game. But guess what? My, uh,. I want to play a game that's on my PC and it's not powerful enough, so let's connect to the cloud. And then we connect to the cloud and I got my controller. Here we go. I got my Dreamcast controller. I'm going to be playing uh, I'm going to be playing Crisis 3 on max settings and because everyone loves that game. No, I'm totally kidding. But uh, basically, what it's about is you instead of using your hardware, you're connecting to a server and using their hardware. And I have some major problems with this. The number one thing is, well, you always have to be connected to a server to play. So let's say you want to play like an offline game, Tomb Raider, for example. Who can, no one cares about the multiplayer in Tomb Raider. But uh, basically, so you're sitting down and you want to play some Tomb Raider. So let's go to the cloud. Oh, the cloud's down today. Guess what? You can't play that. Or, um, or you get on and get on the cloud and then there's a million other people playing the same game as you. Oh, you have server latency, which means, oh, you press a button, and then it'll happen like a second or two seconds later. You can't play with latency like that. I've tried uh, using my Hopage on my laptop and just playing it from the Hopage feed, and there's like a two-second, three-second delay. It's impossible to play like that. You can't, especially if you're playing a game like Dark Souls where you have to parry, like, ha! And then you're like, no, because you die because you, your latency. Um, another thing is if you have a game from a cloud and let's say some corporation goes under, like let's say THQ is a good example of this. Okay, let's say, because THQ crashed. So let's say THQ had the cloud or whatever and you were playing um, Saints Row 2, Saints Row for Saints Row the 3rd or whatever or any of their games. I forgot what other games they made, but <laughs> they made a lot of games. So anyways, let's say you're playing one of their games and they, you know, they're not company anymore. You can't access them because they're, they're not existing anymore. Someone else would have to pick up the slack and host that server. And the problem is they might not have as good a uh, host as, um, and as, as the previous one did. Another one is it's not off your hardware. So anything, it's not off your hardware. You're limited to whatever they have. So if you want to upgrade and you have the game and you paid, oh, I paid $60 for this streaming game, but oh, it's kind of getting laggy because their hardware is outdated or I want to run this on a higher uh, graphics setting. Too bad. You're stuck unless you buy an actual digital copy or a physical copy or something like that. And it kind of sounds cool for the consoles. Like, like uh, I've even heard that, like, maybe even PS3? I don't know, PS4. Uh, they might be even bring the PS3 again. But, like, apparently you're supposed to be able to stream, like, the PS1 and PS3 games on your PS4. I don't have a PS4, but... I might get one eventually, or I don't know what I'm going to get, Xbox One, I don't know. I still haven't decided they're, the two consoles are just same to me. <laughs> I mean, there's no really difference between them except for games right now, and there really hasn't been in the last generation either. And uh, the, the real problem I have with that is, won't it make consoles obsolete? All you need is a, like a streaming unit in your home, in your living room in your room bedroom or whatever you just get a streaming you could just get a streaming box and just live stream it like it was video and play it that's all you need you wouldn't need a ps4 or an xbox one or pc anymore you would just need some kind of like hundred dollar roku player basically to be able to play play the game so i mean it kind of i like having my own physical hardware i don't really like streaming it I mean, there's online games, but you're still downloading it. You're still downloading it. So, not the average gamer. Sign off. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video and post your comments below. What do you think about uh, the future of cloud gaming?